work that the Manila Bay Development Agency uh, has done on the revitalization of this iconic asset has effectively put it on the global map. And that's what we want uh, the world to see and recognize Nelson Mandela Bay for its iconic heritage and tourism assets. And I believe that the Campanile will be recognized amongst iconic assets uh, around the world that share a similar story. The architect, uh, Matt Williams, in this, on the 6th of November 1923 stated, and I quote, that he endeavored to embody in the design the simplicity, restraint, and dignity, which are symbolic of the character of those men and women whose landing at Algoa Bay it commemorated. Close quote. I do want to say something about that. I think there were many people who embodied those values and characters that he spoke about, of simplicity, restraint, and dignity. But unfortunately, the history of the landing of my descendants or, or my forebears wasn't always of dignity, restraint, and simplicity. But it was part of our history. And history is history. And if we embrace the very best of that history, and we eschew the very worst of that history, we can look forward and make sure that we don't ever repeat the bad things. and shared, and people who have histories that are vested in the assets that we as a city have a responsibility to manage and to act as custodians on behalf of you, the citizens, and the visitors who come to our city.